So let's get into this video. I'm going to explain and break this down because I know a lot of you guys are going to relate to this. And the truth is, some of you are probably the filthy animals, giving other people bad looks and dirty looks and some stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you guys on some insight here why people do this. And honestly, having to deal with it, it is, it's annoying. It's just annoying, is what it is. All you're trying to do is go about your day. Go to point A, to point B, to C, to D, to E, to F, to G. And in certain places you go. People's going to be giving you dirty looks, bad vibes, mm -hmm. until you kind of stick it to them. And then they start to, to act right and behave because they know you put pressure on them because they give you a dirty look and now you're kind of like, what? What? What, motherfucker, what? You kind of give them that vibe. And they wisen up. I've seen this, I, this has happened to me and other people multiple times. You're going to give me a dirty look. For what? And I'm going to tell you why they do this, the filthy animals. It's because you threaten them. Your presence, your energy, who you are as a person threatens them. They might see you as someone that is much more successful than they are. So they will give you dirty looks because they're not happy with what they see. You don't make them happy, nor do you have to. <clears throat> so people will look at you like that for no reason. There are many reasons, there's multiple reasons, but that's definitely a huge one. People could be threatened by your confidence as a person overall. You're probably just a more attractive person than they are. In some way, if not multiple ways. And they are threatened by that. They see you as somebody that is better. They want to be like you. They want to be on your level, but they're not, so they're mad. They're mad at themselves. They're mad at you. They're mad at their own life. It's just a mess. Even I noticed something. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but <sighs> I drive through drive through sometimes, get some coffee, stuff like that. And when I'm in the drive through, Obviously, I drive right up to the window to, to get the coffee, to get the money. And the person working looks at me right weird. Like they attach themselves to you. They're not about their business. They're very unprofessional. That's how most people are today. Unprofessionals running around this world. How, how it's operating. It used to not be this way as badly as it is today. I don't know if you guys notice this, but I like at certain places that, that you go through the drive through a lot of people are very unprofessional and just have nasty ass attitudes, bro. They might look in your vehicle and see your nice interior in your car. And, I, and they'll just get jealous. They know you got money, bro. I drive a BMW and it has red leather seats for interior. And I know for a fact these people were going to be looking in there. They're working at damn Tim Hortons. Minimum wage. They see me drive up in a BMW with a red leather, red leather interior. Wearing some fairly nice clothes, whatever. I wear what I wear. I drive what I drive. I do what I do. 
And they gotta be weird about shit, bro. They can't be about their business. They have to act very strange. Very strange. And you just know in your mind, you can read them like a book. You know they don't think fond of you in that situation. You know they're jealous. As F. You know it. I just try to give my money now or swipe my card or something. Don't even look at them. Just give them my fucking coffee and get out of here. Because I don't want to look at you filthy animals anymore. Giving me dirty looks like that. Do your fucking job. Sick of this shit, bro. Everywhere you go. Bad vibes, bad vibes, bad vibes. People. People are broke than broke. Broke, busted, and disgusted. And they want to kind of energetically put that onto you because you're doing good they can see that and they hate it <sighs> but you were also once not on top and you didn't do these things did you you didn't put the time and energy into doing those things because these same people bro all they ever do is daydream and wish about getting better or doing better in life or making more money or this or that or that or this without actually doing it. So that's why they're so mad and offended and triggered by every little thing that comes around them that is better than what they're doing. It's so silly. <laughs> Putting your time and energy into that instead of just biting the bullet and actually doing better. And then you would not be that way. But they are that way because they're not doing it. And they want to project all their fear and hatred and everything else and their jealousy towards you and put that on you. People be acting real shady, bro. I literally saw people upset and mad just because of my presence and most of the time I have a hard time not laughing and sometimes I do I literally laugh at some people in their face because I can't help it I'm not even trying to do it or trying to even piss them off more I swear to God I've saw some people's intentions before and literally laughed because it made me laugh like, bro, you got a serious fucking problem. And that's all I could think. And I literally chuckled and laughed. <laughs> but these people be doing these things, bro. I'm telling you guys the truth. I bet you any money you guys seen some similar things and situations. And some of you probably give some people dirty looks like... Why do that? It makes no sense. No one is impacting your life to make you feel that way. They latch onto your coattails. Even some see, even see some females, bro. It's like they just look at you funny. The first thing you can tell by looking at them is that. Uh, she wants to be a part of my life. And she's sad because, guess what? Daddy's leaving now. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. You can't save everybody. You can't solve world hunger. You can't solve these people getting better jobs. It's not up to you to get them out of Tim Hortons, working somewhere better. It is not your duty. It is not your duty to make women more attractive that aren't maybe that all attract that that are all that attractive. I don't know. It's out of your hands. 
but people be projecting with some jealousy, hatred type kind of stuff. And it's very strange. And it's like the better you continue to do, the more stuff like this that you see. And don't even get me started on family members, bro. Don't even get me started. They be the worst ones. They be the worst ones. You can't even go around family no more. Nobody. Most of your friends, they don't exist no more. It's because you know how to ball, bro. You know how to put in that work. You know how to go to the trenches to achieve and accomplish the things you want to achieve and accomplish and do well for yourself and the people that matter around you. And people really throw your guys' friendships, connections completely out the window. And logically it don't make sense, sense but yet again, all these people don't make sense logically because they don't think logically. You rile them up. They can't help it. You're able to think logically. You're able to do certain things the way you want to do things. You can logically think with your mind, oh my God, it's a miracle, but they just can't seem to do that because they're forever triggered, impressed, and hurt, broke, busted, disgusted. There, there's, there's something seriously wrong with these people, bro. And that's really what it is. And you just trigger them more. You press them more. You get under their skin more. They hate who you are. They hate who they're not. They hate you because they ain't you. And you're a direct reflection of what they want to be. And you just remind them that they're not doing so hot. And it's not like you want this to happen. It's not like you make this happen. It just happens. You can't help it. You're just going about your day, bro. You're not stopping. You're not stopping your train for nobody, bro. Get off the train tracks, Junior, because the train is coming through. Full steam ahead. Better get off the train tracks. Because your ass is about to get run over. And that's what I'm saying. Do not stop me. I got a long way to go. You got a long way to go. Everybody got a long way to go. We ain't stopping for nobody. But it's like these people are just stunted. They want to stop everybody else that's going a little quicker than they are. Here's some psychology 101 for yourself. Here's a lesson for today. This is all facts. This is all truth. <clears throat> they are threatened. Something else that is so funny to me, that people that act like they're about that life, but when it's time to do the work, they're not about that life. They want that life without being about that life. We will see where you end up, we will see where they end up. This is a whole calm of new people that I'm speaking about right now, not even the jealous people, bro. There are some people that really ain't about that life. They're not. And the truth is always going to show later down the line who is made of what. That's what it's going to show. Your haters cannot stand this theory. Trust me. It is only getting worse for the backstabbing bums and the haters. It's only getting worse for them as time goes on. You're only gonna, you're only gonna become more successful, more of who you're supposed to be, and they're just on a decline. They're on a slow decline, and some of them are on a fast decline.
You can just handle, you can handle shit like none other, bro. If you can relate to this video. You're not like everybody else. You can handle shit most people cannot handle. You can go to a place in your mind and you can go to a certain place that many people are not willing to go to. The trenches. To the trenches you go. And to the street she goes. What can you do? Your eyes are wide open. And when you look around, everybody else is kind of a little bit slow. They don't fully catch on that quick. You see everything that's happening. You see everything that's going on. You're very inclined. You're very awake. Most other people are not. So when you're the awakened one, AKA chosen, you're gonna get a lot of these looks, bro. You're gonna get a lot of dirty looks from just worldly people stuck. Stucker than stuck. You're just made of something different, bro. You're just a little tougher. Not a little. I was being generous. You're a lot tougher. You can handle more pain. You can handle more stress. You can handle not feeling good all the time and still pushing through. There's so much that you can handle that they cannot. And this is facts. If they could... They'd be somewhere a little different right now. They'd have a little bit of a different attitude. And they would not be envying you so hard. And this is the truth. And you just got to try to smile it off like I do most of the time. And just not even acknowledge it at the same time. Sometimes it's hard to laugh at it, sometimes it's a little more intense and it's like you can't even laugh at it, it's just, pfft, this is pathetic. It almost puts you in a negative mood. But you kind of have to like ignore it and just keep going. It just feels like everybody's against you. But this is what it calls for. If you're chosen, this is what it calls for. Even, even a lot of the people that say they're with you, bro, they're not with you, bro. You're going to see that pretty quick. I'm going to say this. I'm not surprised about anything. You can be with me right now. You might not be with me next year or the next year after that or year three after that. You might not be. And to be honest, I could not give a single flying fuck. What you guys need to understand, and I hope you guys have this same mentality because it is... The best mentality. I have lost people of when I was a lot younger that I never thought I'd lose. And I needed to experience that. Because now and for the rest of my life, it really don't matter who I lose, bro. It really does not matter. I've already experienced the worst of the worst. The worst. So it don't matter to me who else I lose. I already experienced the worst. How much worse can it get? It does not get worse than what I've already experienced. It does not. It's on you if you're going to backstab me. It's not on me. And honestly, I could care less. You can go right ahead and do that. It is what it is. What am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do? Care? Absolutely not. I will not care. I'd be surprised 
for the ones that actually stick with me and don't backstab me, that's more surprising to me than actually being backstabbed. Being backstabbed to me now, or people just going against me or, or acting weird or different because of my growth in life, which is positive, that shit don't matter. When you experience the worst of it, you've experienced the worst of it. Now it's like second nature. You almost see it coming before it even happens. In fact, you do see it coming before it even happens. People can be talking to you nice one day. Now they're ignoring you. Now they don't want to talk. Now they fell off the face of the map. You can see it. Because of your growth in life. And their stagnance in life. real ones are always going to stay and the fake will expose themselves. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and how they have to go about things because you're such a threat. The people that turn on you, bro, they're already screwed. That's what you have to understand. Real people don't do that type of shit. Ever. Like, ever. They're already screwed. It's truth. And they know it deeply. Which is why they act and behave the way they do. And it's why they do the things they do. And that's the last thing I want to share in this video. On to the next.